Hello, I'm going to show a new global illumination solution for Godot 4 that's going to be coming to the new version. It's very easy to use, you just go to Power Environment, SDFGI, and then turn it on. And that's it, you can just move around, go wherever you like. It's open world, it's going to work everywhere. So, there's some interesting things about it. The first one, I will just position a bit better so you can see better. Lighting is fully dynamic, you can just change the light as you wish and it's going to work. So lighting is dynamic, Objects, dynamic objects are still not supported, uh, they will eventually, but first the idea is to make it work as better as possible. So it also has reflections and row reflections as you can see here. Reflections are actually SDF reflections. It's not exactly a totally uh, sharp, perfect reflection. Instead, it just uses the SDF. So what is the SDF exactly? If you go to the debug mode, you have the SDF GA cascades. So this is actually the SDF world. It's like a clay-like world that is used to compute global illumination. These are like ray traced. You don't need uh, RTX or anything like modern. You can use an older CPU or GPU is going to work okay. So all the global illumination is done via this. So all the lighting is done here, and then this lighting is captured into something called probes. The probes are these spheres you can see here. They are infinite. You can just go as far as you want, and they keep appearing everywhere. They are infinite probes. So the idea is that everything is captured here. So when you move around, uh, you have to make sure that probes are everywhere. If 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 your probes, I mean, if you configure your probes to be too large, then it's not going to work because it's going to miss uh, information to capture. So you just make sure to, to use probes at a, at the size that it works for your game. You can configure the size here. This is the minimum cell size. If you make something smaller, you're, you're going to have like smaller probes. If you want something bigger, which can make them bigger. Uh, you have the option to uh, scale the y-axis like then you have them like closer to you as you can see the vertically they are more packed together than horizontally this is nice for interiors because usually you can make a large interior with a relatively low ceiling so this is going to work very well so well this is basically basically the way it works uh, i hope you make nice use of it when it comes out uh, bye bye